Here's your first alert weather forecast from meteorologist Alex Searle. All right, Alex, you grew up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Big win so, yesterday. Yes, well, yes, big <laughs> win yesterday, but you're also very used to this weather, mm -hmm. probably a little bit more than me who grew up in southwest Oklahoma in the very, very hot summers. Yeah, we're going to get that big cold blast, and like you said, I may be a little more used to it than uh, the average person from Texoma, uh, but it's still going to be cold nonetheless. I mean, everyone's going to be seeing those uh, temperatures we need to prepare for. Uh, right now, we are seeing those pleasant, uh, sunny conditions out there. It's a little chilly out there on your Comanche Red River Hotel Casino Tower Cam. We're sitting at 47 degrees down in Duval. Uh, like I said, lots of sunshine, not much cloud coverage out there. Winds have been coming down slowly throughout the day. We're still seeing gusts up to 21 miles per hour out there, uh, but winds were a lot gustier this morning. You obviously probably heard that overnight if you guys were uh, awake at any point during that. Observed highs for today. We reached the 40s for the most part across uh, Texoma. Lawton and Wichita Falls, the airport still haven't reported yet, so they're blank at the moment, but we got to a high of 44 degrees in Duncan, 46 in Bowie, 46 in Altus, 42 in Elk City. So these temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday with those afternoon highs. Let's look at the overnight hours here. So I'm going to cool off quite rapidly. We have no cloud coverage out there right now, so that's going to allow the heat to escape the atmosphere. We'll get into the 30s by 10 p.m. tonight at 32 degrees already at that freezing mark. Then looking ahead to tomorrow morning, we'll be sitting in the mid 20s by 4 a.m. So we will have a chilly start to the day tomorrow. There is some good news with that, though, is that we're going to warm up uh, nicely tomorrow. If you're looking for some nice conditions to enjoy, tomorrow is definitely the time to do that. While we will start chilly and you get to 50 degrees by noon, 59 degrees by 4 p.m. Still seeing oh, we'll see some light winds tomorrow out of the southwest initially changing slowly but surely to out of the west later to the day and eventually out of the north in the evening hours. But should be some f uh, fantastic conditions out there to go out and enjoy your Wednesday. And we'll see those conditions pretty similar on Thursday. But we're looking closely at this big cold blast that's going to arrive Friday. So first cold front arrives Friday morning. Temperature is going to drop into the 20s and a chance for snow. We're still working out the details on the snowfall totals and what we'll see. Second cold front is going to arrive Sunday morning, and this will be the coldest we've seen all year. Wind chill values are expected to drop below zero degrees for parts of Texoma as we are in Sunday going into Monday. So very cold temperatures, like I said, the coldest we've been all year. So let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into that. Starting Friday morning, this is right at midnight going into Friday, that cold front starting to roll into the area. We're going to wake up Friday morning, so 8 a.m. Friday morning with wind chill values in the single digits across Texoma. We'll warm up on Friday to chilly, but not awful conditions. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s for those feel like temperatures by 5 p.m. on Friday night. Saturday, similar conditions as well, but then that second cold front arrives on Sunday, and this is when, uh, when you combine those two cold fronts, we'll see the very cold conditions. Negative wind chill values are expected for your Sunday morning at 7 a.m., and we'll continue to see either single digit or negative wind chill values as we go through your Sunday and eventually into your Monday morning as well. Uh, so big cold blast, obviously, you don't need me to tell you that. We're feeling pretty confident in the cold blast happening at this point, but what we're less confident on, but still working on the details, is potential snowfall. This is just one specific weather model showing up to over an inch of snowfall across Texoma over the course of the next week here. I'm not putting all my eggs in this basket. The snowfall totals are still definitely up in the air here. We could see more, we could see less, but uh, just know we do have some potential for snowfall in the forecast and we will keep you guys updated. Now in terms of when will that snowfall happen, the first chance for it will be Friday morning. We have a 20% chance overnight going into Friday morning and then maybe the earlier parts of the day on Friday. Second chance for snow will be Sunday going into Monday, overnight Sunday night into Monday morning, another chance for snowfall. So like I said, we'll keep you guys updated on that. In terms of temperatures though, you can see the actual temperatures going to be in the low single digits to maybe the 20s and 30s Monday and Tuesday.